Hello beer troopers and welcome to yet another winter slash festive themed beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets, almost towards the end guys. Um, today it is the 22nd of December, yeah, 22nd. Today guys, we're going to be looking at a beer by Munkabu Mikroborg. I've reviewed a couple of their beers, their Sleipner and Gleitner, which is their like Imperial IPA and Imperial Black IPA. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool New York Danish brewery. What I really like about them is that all of their beers are centered in Norse mythology, just like this one, which I think is awesome. And this is one of their Christmas beers. They have two Christmas beers. They have this one and then another one called Jotna, um, which is like, I believe it's some kind of wheat beer. Uh, but this is their Moonin, Belgian quadruple. I've actually already had this back in November for a uh, kind of a, a beer dinner thing. And uh, I really liked it, uh, Dougie, so uh, I thought I'd review it. And uh, yeah, it's basically an 11% Belgian style quadruple, and I really like that they say exactly what um, ingredients are in here. It says water, then the malt they use is barley malt, Munich, Pilsner, rye, and then melanoidin. And then they also use Belgian candied sugar, and it's topped with nugget and East Kit Goldings. Uh, and then they use uh, a Belgian Abbey Ale yeast. If you don't know Moonin, like all those things, as I said, are references to Norse mythology, all the things on the label, all the names. And uh, Moonin is one of Odin's ravens. He had Hugin and Moonin. And uh, yeah, they would fly around and be on, like, they would kind of be scouts for Odin. And then they would port back, and then fly around, fly around Midgard and Manhala and whatnot. And then they would go back to Odin and, uh, you know, let him know what they found. Which is kind of cool. Wow, the head fizzes away instantly. It didn't do that when I had it last time, interestingly enough. Uh, but yeah, and then also it says here what Moon means. It means the one who remembers. Something like that. So, yeah, I can really smell it already. I mean, a lot of Belgian kind of estuary qualities. So, we got it poured here. You saw the head fizz away pretty quickly. It was, what was there though? It was like a one finger-ish beige head. What's left is a lace, almost. But it's a nice kind of copper color. Let's take a look at your on it. Yeah, uh, very traditional Belgian quad. You've got some of the dark fruits, ripe kind of fruity notes. Nuts. It, it does have a little bit of the alcohol. I'm getting like a phenolic alcohol character from those 11%. But it smells quite sweet as well. I'm getting a lot of candied sugar. Yeah, yeah, you know, traditional raisin, dates, all that stuff. The only thing, though, it would have been awesome if the head was standing there. It's just that little lace. But let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Oh, the alcohol is not on the flavor, really, because it's very sweet. Um, if you're not too into the sweeter Belgian ales, this is not for you. This is quite sweet quadruple. But uh, that's nice because it kind of hides the alcohol. There's still some heat from the 11%, and you do taste a little bit of phenolic character. But it's kind of in balance with the rest of the beer. Much sweeter than the aroma actually indicates. Uh, it's still nice and fruity. You get the ripe fruits, you get the dark fruit, raisin and dates. Some toasty, almost nutty flavors. But I like a lot of that Belgian candied sugar and at least a sticky gloss on your lips. You get the dark fruits. It's nice that it has the dark fruits. And it's both the dry kind, but there's also one like an, an overripe or juicy dark fruit flavor to it. More of a generic one that kind of cuts some of the sweetness. But I'm glad the sweetness is there, because if it didn't have that sweetness, I think the alcohol would be a little more present. But this would age pretty well, I think. Uh, get that kind of alcoholic, slightly alcohol flavor to fade a little, and then also bring forth maybe more of the yeast esters and characters in the beer. I'm going to go 87, pretty close to a 90. Only thing that kind of uh, cuts it for going up in that territory for me is probably the alcohol flavor, the fun all character. If you had the, had the chance, I'd definitely say check out the Munkabu Mikopuk Moonin. And actually, also, you can go on their website and get Christmas ornaments. They made it's so cool. Like, usually in Denmark, you have something called Kaulunisa, which is like cardboard or cardboard cutouts or something like that of, of a small. It's called a Nisa, which is a, a Danish folklore type creature. It's kind of like a leprechaun type of thing. Uh, and that you hang around in your house for Christmas. They, he made Viking versions of that <laughs> for Christmas. You can print out. That's kind of funny. But yeah, guys, I'm rambling. 
Uh, definitely check out the moon if you get the chance. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And stay tuned for tomorrow for yet another festive theme beer review. I want to say cheers, guys, and uh, happy holidays.